Hi, I'm Claire and I'm part of the sales team here at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom. And today I'm going to take you around our funkiest VW that we've got in stock. So if you're looking for a VW that you're going to stand out from the crowd, just look at this beauty. It's done just over 12,000 miles. It's a two litre um, DSG um, and it's 150 brake horsepower. But talk about curb appeal. The base vehicle is a start line. However, the previous owner has had loads of adaptions done to it. So as you can see, it's got the spoiler to the front. It's got the stop mechanism there. As we go around the side, we can see it's got the real nice alloys. It's just a crowd pleaser. It really is. It's got the chrome bars. This is where you'd put your water and this is where we connect the electricity. So as we go around the back, you will see we've got the barn doors. Underneath here is a perfect storage place for your cassette toilet. In the cupboard here, you've got your consumer unit. Inside the wedge there, you'll see that's where the leisure battery is stored and your fuse switches are there as well. Beneath, in that storage there, that's where you keep your gas. We've got reversing sensors, storage here for the table. So when you're not using the table, it's out of the way. And when the door's closed, it's even got the spoiler at the top. Aren't the colors lovely? So as we come around the side, you can appreciate there, it's got obviously the sidebars as well. The canopy isn't part of the deal, I'm afraid, um, but our shop team would love to help you with that. Um, we also do draft excluders in there as well. You can stop your blooming border terrier escaping underneath there. So internally, we've got the checkerboard flooring. The cabinetry blends so well with the outside of this van. It's got the blue stitching in the seat. The seat comes down to make a double bed and we've got storage beneath as well. It's the Monte Carlo conversion. So with the Monte Carlo conversion, you get the grill. We've got a two ring gas hob and we've got water, uh, water, a sink with cold running water. Easy use control panel. And it's also got the diesel heating a USB point and two electric points. The pop top, as you can see, the windows all the way around in here are the polythene type, which I really prefer. The net ones, I feel, when you put it up, if the day's not so good, you can't open and let natural sunlight in. So the three windows here are plastic windows. And at the top there, can you see that strip? That strip, if you pull it off, it's a mosquito net. So if you were sleeping up here and it was a hot summer's night, you can get a little bit of air in. The bed, so I don't take Wendy's head off. You pull the boards forward, like so. So you've got a nice double bed. And these are really squidgy and soft. So we can put that there. As we turn around, we've got the double seat. And beneath there, you get the added bonus of storage. I like the double seat because of an evening, one can sit here with the feet up and the other one can sit there. So Wendy's going to squeeze through and she's going to show you what we've got. So we've got the DSG gearbox, we've got aircon, we've got the stereo with a CD player, radio, connectivity for your phone. As you go across there you'll see that it's done 12,080 miles. Um, that may change if anybody chooses to go out and a test drive but i think the first first person that does a test drive i think they might buy it on the control wave you'll see there the restrictor so if you're on a motorway and there's some speed control there you can use the restrictor to set yourself at the mileage that the motorway is advising that you go at the mirrors are electric and one of my favorite things which i'm going to have fitted to my van are the wind deflectors so all in all if you want to stand out from the crowd and be the coolest camper on the site, I think you need to come and have a closer look at this. 
Come and see me or any of the sales team at Don Amot Leisure Kingdom.